Well, there you are. It's been a while. Welcome back. Thanks for joining Red Pirate Viff on his uh, journey and adventure to Horizons Unknown. Today we continue with the refit. Christmas is behind us, New Year's is behind us, and we have a whole season of working on the boat. Today, we're going to continue working on the hull to jet joint. You may recall that I took all the teak off, and uh, there's a lot of crap underneath the uh, teak, commonly known as polysulfide, evil stuff. I'll show you. Follow me. This stuff here is polysulfide. Over the years, it has uh, aged, not gracefully, and become brittle, just like that. Evil stuff. Now, the original intent of this stuff was to seal the hull deck joint, but as you can see, it's not sealing anything. So its fate is sealed. So it's coming off, going in the trash, like this. Okay, so the reason why I want to get busy on this particular aspect of the project is because this little trough right here collects rainwater, and the rainwater seeps in down inside the boat. And it's not good. I don't like water in the boat. So I'm going to clean the polysulfide out. And then I'm going to take some of this poly here and uh, make sure it's taped down real good. Keep the rain out. And once that's done, then I can proceed in getting the teak prepared. I've left some of the teak on the joint to, just to hold the poly down, but it didn't work very well. You can see the wind and what have you. Over the last couple of weeks, has pretty much removed most of it, so it's not being very effective at the moment. Here you can see the teak on the deck. I'll have to take that inside the shop, put some sanding, clean it up. For today, I'm going to break out the fain tool and use it to get that polysulfide out. So it should be a pretty quick job. I'm hoping it'll be a pretty quick job. And uh, at least get one side done tonight. And if that works, then we'll do the other side tomorrow. And uh, we'll go from there. Enjoy. Well, as you can see, it's getting dark out. We've had a beautiful sunset. The uh, <clears throat> temperature is falling. It's going to be just around freezing tonight. Uh, and I can feel it. It's, it's a little cold out. So as I've been working and getting sweaty here, now I'm standing here cooling off. It's getting chilly but here's where we are so far i've gone all the way around the boat from stern to bow and instead of using the same tool i simply used a hammer and a, an old screwdriver to knock the polysulfide out of the hull deck joint channel um, the blade on the fane tool is well i'll show you <clears throat> that wide nose for scale and the channel is fairly narrow so I discovered that if I just used a, a screwdriver and a uh, hammer and used the screwdriver as a little pry bar got it underneath the uh, edge of the polysulfide and just knocked under it could pry it out really easy so I guess I've been working hmm, maybe three quarters of an hour, something like that. And um, I've been all the way around the boat. I've got it all out. Uh, interestingly, some parts of the, the uh, deck joint, hull deck joint channel have different material in it, not polysulfide. Polysulfide is really hard and brittle, but there are <clears throat> parts um, where that is not the case. There's some other material, mostly at the bow and the stern, like here. This stuff is uh, it's like wax. 
it's still sticky. It's still pliable. And uh, it's like putty. Yeah, putty. And hard hard to knock out. Like you, know, you can see here where I got the screwdriver in there and banged away at it. And it didn't want to go through it. And that goes all the way around to the back. I also realized that when I was taking the screws out of the teak for the cap rail, these last two pieces both have screws still in them. So I'm going to carry on and get those screws out, remove those bits of teak. Sailing Bros channel, one of the Sail Bros is working on his Choi Lee, which is in much worse condition than this boat is. And uh, he was relaxing with a beer and confessed to being a little overwhelmed. I know that feeling. But one of the things I've done to get around that is to create a project plan, a plan for getting the boat back together. Taking it apart is not a big deal. You just look at something and rip it off. Take the mast down, take the rigging off, take the bowsprit off, take the boomkin off. Not a big deal. But when you put it back, you need to be a little bit more thoughtful and just rip things apart. And uh, you need a plan. So I created a plan. I'll put that on my uh, blog not on YouTube, but I'll put it on my blog. And if you want to have a look at it, you can. Or maybe I'll even make it downloadable so that you can use it as a template and uh, use it for your own project. You can see there's lots of work to do, but once you put it in a, a workflow kind of format, it doesn't look quite so over overwhelming, which is a good thing. So you guys can get back to watching. I'll get back to <laughs> modicum of success going on. I've managed to get the remaining teak off. And there's the uh, empty spot right there. There's the tools I had to use. Unfortunately, I didn't wreck a piece of teak, but that hole right there was very nearly impossible to see. And so I actually had to pry up the, the teak off the uh, the joint and then spin it. But as I did, it took this humongous divot out the back side of the teak. So I'll be able to fill that. I'll probably just fill that with a bit of epoxy filler. Um, when we drill it, it'll be stronger. I saved a bit of wood that came out of there, but it just fell apart. I think this teak is old and kind of crumbly. And uh, that's where it came out of. So, as you can see, it's dark out. We're sneaking up on, well, I don't know, about 6.30 at night. So, and fair uh, winds, fall long seas, and God bless.